right, guys, welcome to today's episode of Forge Ahead. We are in a three-part series about having a, a heart for your child. And today we'll finish up that series by discussing having a heart to send out. You know, we think about being dads, we're really thoughtful about making sure our kids are cared for and having what they need. And, and certainly you may be in partnership with your spouse or their mother and, and really making sure that their environment is cared for, that they have everything that they need. And so often we're thoughtful about parenting for the present because the present gives us a sense of urgency. What do my, child, what do my children need today? What does my child need tomorrow? And today I want to talk about not parenting for the present, but parenting for the future. When we think about the idea of having a heart to send out, we really parent with the end in mind. You know, it's easy as a dad to look at your child, whether they may be three or 13, and just kind of manage what may be going on in their life right then. But what does a 13-year-old look like if a dad has a real intentional, strategic idea when that child is three, helping that child at three and four and five become a young man later in life will really put that child on a trajectory to be a disciple maker, to be a leader, to be so much more mature and godly than if we're just parenting for a three-year-old in a three-year-old kind of way. So today I wanna to be thoughtful about how we do that and how we help our kids. So often I think we as parents are afraid to help or really allow our children to fail. I remember several weeks ago as school really launched into this first year, one of my children left their lunch uh, in our kitchen. And I remember thinking, do I take this lunch to that child or do I allow them to figure it out? And it was only after several attempts over the last couple of days trying to make sure that my that same child had all that they needed. Do you have your books? Do you have your lunch? Do you have your homework? And they continually to say, yes, I do, yes, I do, yes, I do. And it was often that I found myself being more concerned about having their, their items than they were concerned. And so in that moment, I allowed my child to fail, to figure it out. And while they were at school, they had to beg and borrow for food. But you know, when they came back that afternoon, and they were thoughtful of where they had left their lunch. The next morning, the first thing they put in their hand on the way out the door was that lunch sack. When we allow our kids to fail, we're helping develop some responsibility and some leadership in their life. I think when we're thinking about parenting to send out, we need to be thoughtful of making sure that we give those kinds of responsibilities to our children. Helping them understand that, you know, when you work hard at something, you'll be rewarded. But if you're lazy, you might also receive some consequences. That's what it means to parent with the end in mind. Developing responsibility, allowing your child to fail if they need to fail, to teach them a lesson. But then certainly always putting in front of them a carrot of a hope and an idea of what they could become. Helping them understand they have full potential. No matter what their background may be, no matter what limitation they might have, God has a purpose and a plan in their life. And so we as dads are constantly putting that in front of them. And as we do that, we parent with the future in mind and we really have a heart to send out because one day your child is gonna turn 18 or maybe 21 or whatever appropriate age, they're gonna leave your home. And I pray, just like I, I hope you pray, that my, when my children leave the house, they're ready. God's going to use them in a mighty way. And they're going to be responsible and far exceed me spiritually and emotionally and really be on a, on a, a trajectory towards adulthood. So parent with the end in mind. Have a heart to send out. And just to remind you, these last couple of episodes have really helped we as dads think about having a heart for our child. Having a heart to listen having a heart to encourage, and having a heart to send out.